Hey guys, in today's video, we're creating my roadmap for 2020 in my passion planner. I've had quite a number of people say to me that they'd like to get into planning and don't know how. So this year, I'm approaching this roadmap like it's my first time. I know, the planner itself prompts you to time yourself for five minutes to create your roadmap, but I personally like to take my time. For your lifetime goals, try not to choose anything tangible. I like to frame this section from the perspective of my 65 year old self. What would I be most proud of at 65 years old? The one thing I'd be proud of is my happiness. It's always been something I've taken care of or something that I strive for. I think at 65, I'd feel fulfilled because I lived my life by not doing what others expect of me, but redefining what success is to me. Ask yourself, if you could do anything in the world, what would it be? For me, I'd like to travel more, take more family trips outside of the country, see the world before we settle down. Second, I'd love to buy a home, whether that be in California or Nevada, a home would be a step in the right direction in starting a family. And last but not least, a career in filmmaking. Naturally, I didn't get to do everything I planned in 2019, so I am trying to figure out what I can do every day to accomplish the goals that kind of got left behind. I know with creating a roadmap, it can feel overwhelming, but the purpose of the roadmap isn't to put pressure, but create awareness. Let's begin with the goals I set, but didn't get around to doing it. I'm going to list what I want to do and then how I'm going to do it. Japanese. You guys know about my Japanese studies. It's something that I've been teaching myself for the last few years and even though I feel like the Japanese that I do know is second nature, I don't have to think twice about what I'm saying. At the same time, there is so much more to learn. And uh, I don't know, this year it just seemed like I fell behind. <laughs> and then, then when I fell behind, it took me a really long time to get, like it was really tough trying to get back on track. In the Japanese language, they have three different alphabets. So I'm going to learn katakana first, and then I'm going to take a Japanese class. Finally, I am going to just fork out the cash and take a class because I'm sick and tired of putting pressure on myself to you know, study and then I don't actually get around to doing it. So taking a class is just gonna hold me accountable and you know, knowing that I have a test on Friday is just gonna force me to study throughout the week. Learn a martial arts. Now, this is something I actually started a couple years ago. I was, it, I think I was living in California and then I would come out to Vegas almost once a month I mean, I still kind of do. What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> and I was just taking a martial arts class. It was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun, um, but I was out of shape. And then I didn't really put a lot of effort in finding a martial arts school in California. But now I want to pick it up again. I think it'd be fun because I've been working out a lot. So <laughs> I think I'm going to go for it again this year. Next, ukulele. A couple years ago, I learned how to play the ukulele. I still kind of know how, but I don't really practice as much. But the one thing that I learned that discouraged me from playing the ukulele was that I just don't have any sort of musical skill. Yes, you guys, I have no rhythm, but I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I am I want to try it again. I want to give it a shot. It's just. I don't know, I, I think it was one of those things I was trying to learn a song and then I wasn't counting or like staying on beat. So I just like put the ukulele down and never picked it up again. It sounds so sad, but this year I think I wanna do it again. You know, this year is just all about giving hobbies a second chance. <laughs> What I'm looking forward to in 2020 would be the wedding and traveling. Both things require budgeting, so I'm thinking about making some planning videos about money. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing these kinds of videos because I personally want to get better with this. 
If you're having a hard time creating your roadmap, here are a couple of prompts that can help complete this section. If you couldn't fail, what would you do? What activities set your soul on fire? What's your dream job? If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? What does your ideal day look like? If today was your last day, what would you do? Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was insightful and inspiring. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.